Hello everyone, welcome to another video brought to you by the Town of Athens Wastewater Treatment Plant. Today we show you some process control testing to see how our plant is running. We will be doing a cetylometer test, checking the pH, the temperature, the dissolved oxygen, mixed liquor suspended solids, and volatile suspended solids. Here a well mixed sample is taken during the last air cycle from aeration basin number two. The tool here being used is called a core sampler, commonly called a sludge jug. Since we have two aeration basins at different stages, now is a good time to check the sludge depth in aeration basin number one while it's in the settling stage. So that's what's being done here. Here the sample is poured into a two liter cetylometer. The sample is gently mixed so we don't shear our flock. We record the sludge settling characteristics at 5 minute intervals for 30 minutes. With a little bit of TV magic, here's how it looks like after 30 minutes. We take another sample and pour it into a glass beaker. The beaker is placed on a magnetic stirrer to keep the sample well mixed. The meter is placed in the sample and the pH is recorded. This meter also records the sample temperature in Celsius, which we will convert to Fahrenheit. Now the meter reads the oxygen reduction potential or ORP in millivolts. To do a mixed liquor suspended solids test, we must first weigh the ceramic dishes with no sample. The dishes are stored in a desiccator to keep the dishes from absorbing any moisture. The blank dish weight is recorded. The samples are mixed and poured into a measuring cup to a volume of 50 milliliters. To be able to measure the solids, the water must be removed from the samples. They are placed in an oven at a temperature of 103 degrees Celsius or 217 degrees Fahrenheit for at least 8 hours. After some more TV magic, the next day the samples are removed from the oven. They are placed in the desiccator to cool without absorbing any moisture for at least 30 minutes. After cooling, the dry samples can now be weighed and recorded. Now the math must be done to find our mixed liquor suspended solids number in milligrams per liter. To test the volatile portion of our samples, we must place the samples in a muffle furnace. The furnace is set at a temperature of 500 degrees Celsius or 932 degrees Fahrenheit. The high heat is used to burn off all the volatile solids so we can weigh the remaining non-volatile solids. The furnace is turned off. The samples are removed carefully from the hot furnace.
Once again, the samples must be cooled in the desiccator so they don't absorb any moisture. Now the non-volatile portion of our samples can be weighed and recorded. The math is completed to find out how much of our mixed liquor suspended solids is volatile. If you would like to see more videos explaining each process in detail, make sure you hit that like button. Also make sure you subscribe for future videos.